Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's talk about the problem 32 in chapter 3. In this problem, we still have a very simple project motion. And we can see the first one tells us a pool is horizontally, so initially horizontally, from the proof of a building 9 meter tall and length 9.5 meter from the base. So ask you the initial speed. Yeah, because this word horizontally, so we must Consider the initial speed just has the x component. So this is initial speed. The y component is zero. Okay, this is we must take care. And then because this is a project motion, and then it tells us the initial we can see this is y not is zero and this is y equal to nine meter. Nine meter. Mm. And then it lands 9.5 meters. So this as tell us the displacement in the x component. Right? X component is 9.5 meter. Ask you to find the initial speed. So if you ever want to find initial speed in x component, you can see we know the displacement in x component. And so we must need to know the time taken in the project motion. Because in x component, acceleration is zero. It moves at a constant velocity. And in y component, it is it is just a free fall body. Acceleration is 9.8 meter per second. And then we look at the y component. We know the initial velocity. We know the initial velocity is zero. We know the initial position is zero. And we know acceleration is g. And we know final position. So very easily, we can consider this equation to find the time t. Do you agree? Yes. And there, this y not is zero. Uh, the initial velocity in y component is zero, so we can get it. We put the normal quantities, we get the time t is 1.3555 second. And after we get the time t, t and then we can consider the initial speed is the v naught times t. It should equal to displacement in x component, and there it is 7 meters per second. Thank you.